is the uh, grateful to Star Trek. There's no question about it. It wasn't the Star Trek, the rest of them never have happened. Um, on the other hand, um, the role of Messier was, was more challenging. It was more, it was more for me to think about, it was more for me to, to develop in that character. It was more dimensional. Uh, and uh, I, I loved playing Messier. It was a great opportunity. It was supposed to be a one, a one shot. I was supposed to do one episode, not as Bester, but as another character. But I had, I just uh, undergone a quadruple bypass, and I wasn't available when I was supposed to shoot. And Joe Straczynski said he, well, he would hold it, that script for me. Well, they ran out of scripts and they couldn't hold it for me. So he wrote another character, he wrote Bester. And instead of a one shot, it, I, came, I, re I recurred, I was on the show 12 times, which was a substantial number, I thought. And everybody got along. We all liked each other. Uh, and you can read between the lines when I say that. Um, and uh, I just had a grand time. In fact, you know, when the show was canceled, and then uh, it was made, uh, then they decided to do it anyway, to do it for the season anyway. My episode was going to be, I was coming back. I was definitely coming back. And in a, a role that had to be current, the way it was written. Uh, my episode was number 13. And number 12, they canceled the show after episode number 12. So I never did get to play him again in that, uh, in that next season. But, uh, I, I, you know, again, it's part of this weirdness that we live in. You, know, you cannot predict the future. Maybe some people can, I can't. And the fact that uh, they, they, they had me on the show and that I had so much to do on it just made me feel uh, like I am a part, a part of the party, that I was really there uh, and making a contribution. It was obviously an homage to him uh, because the character's name was Anton Chekhov. Um, a, a terrific talent, and uh, I would not have, I, if I was in charge, I would not have asked him to, to play it the, the way I, I did, um, because he, he should bring his, his own uh, uh, contribution to the part. But um, one very brief moment, um, so I met him at, I met at the studio, and we talked for a couple of hours. And then I went to see the, uh, the, the uh, opening of the film, and um, afterwards we were all, we were all gathered in this big parking lot uh, for a party, and uh, every, all of the actors in, in the, the new Star Trek had a collection of journalists and photographers uh, surrounding them, <clears throat> as did he. But he spied me, he said, Walter, Walter, I said, hi, and he says, I've got my own Chekhov figure. <laughs> well, I think that uh, you don't appreciate being yourself and being a humble person, don't appreciate the impact that you had on us and how emotionally we feel about your character and your performance.